Hey guys, Dr. Alex the Punch Doctor here, and today I want to go over some of Ryan Garcia's left hooks. He throws them in a few different ways. Some of his technique is great, and some gets him into a bit of trouble. I'm going to go over his hooks and talk about the good and the bad, and in the end I'm going to give you some pointers on how you can throw hooks like Ryan on the bag. If you're new to this channel, you should check out my Kinetic Integrated Mechanics reference video as it goes over some concepts I'm going to allude to in this video. Some of the stuff I say might not make sense to you if you haven't seen that video yet, so if you haven't watched that, be sure to check it out. Link is in the description. Let's get into the clips. Now this first hook I want to show you is a hook where Ryan takes a step with it, and it follows a very similar mechanical pattern to throwing a jab with some hip flick. You're going to see Ryan step with his left foot, and since there's not a lot of hip rotation, he really has to drop his arm very far in order to create the stretch necessary for him to contract upon. Now we can take a look at him doing it here. He's going to step with his back leg, push off, really step with his front leg, and look how far he drops his arm. Now he's doing that to create the stretch in his cross body chains that he can then contract off of to have a little power behind it. However, it telegraphs really far against someone like Tank in the second round, it's not going to fly. Now against Miguel Carrizoza, different story. Carrizoza's already been down, he's not Tank, not quite the caliber of a Tank Davis, and we'll see Ryan land this type of stepping hook successfully. And we'll see right here, follows the same mechanics, he steps with his front foot, pushes off with his back leg, creates a little bit of hip rotation, not that much. He has to drop his arm very far in order to create the stretch necessary to power the hook. It lands successfully, and that's it for Miguel tonight. Now, I want to go back to the tank fight, and we'll see Ryan throw this hook three more times, and you'll see small adjustments that tank makes every time, and on the third one, counters it successfully. Now, let's take a look. This first hook's going to follow the same pattern. He pushes off with his back leg, takes a big step with his left foot, hangs that arm really far back in order to create stretch so he can power the hook. Tank ducks. He's not in a great position right here relative to Ryan to follow up. However, he's getting a sense for, you know, what to do better next time. We're going to see Ryan throw the hook one more time here. Tank ducks. And he's in a little bit better position, right? You see his back leg there. He's ready to push off of it, but his body position is a little bit low relative to Ryan to really capitalize. Now Ryan's going to throw it a third time here. And Tank's going to be able to counter. So same idea. Pushes off of the back leg. Steps with the front leg. Hangs that arm really far back. You can see him rotate his front leg to create even a little bit more hip rotation. It puts him in a bad position, though. He really has to hang that arm back to create the stretch that he can then power the punch with. Tank ducks. Now look at Ryan's position. His legs are almost in a straight line relative to Tank. You can see his lead leg also on the inside of Tank's foot. So he stepped inside of Tank's stance, and that's a very poor position to be in. He does not have a whole lot of stability there that you might have with slightly offset stance, right? Now Tank's in a good position here with his back leg, with his body relative to Ryan. He's able to counter. Since Ryan has kind of poor balance here with his legs in a straight line effectively, and his lead leg on the inside of Tank's lead foot, and his weight is a bit off balance as well, he has nothing behind him or no way to support himself after getting hit, and he goes down. So he really hangs that arm out, telegraphing. Against a fresh Tank Davis, this is only round two. If Tank was hurt, you know, maybe he could get away with it. Really hangs it out. Tank's already seen the pattern. He's able to duck, keep his body in a good position. Ryan's legs are in a straight line. Not great balance. Gets hit. No support. Knockdown. So I do not like this type of hook. I think there's much better options in a position where you're a little bit far rather than stepping. And I'll show them coming up. Here's a much better example of a left hook Ryan throws against Luke Campbell to the body, which still, you know, in the wrong situation can cause you some problems. He's definitely taking a risk in this situation, throwing this type of hook. However, you know, it's a calculated risk. Let's take a look at it and we'll see what he does well. So he's never really 
off balance here. He's in the air a little bit of the time, but lands in a position where he's able to have more options than he did in the previous clip. You'll see him take a skip step to put his weight on his left leg. And his arm is coming back. I would argue it's coming back less than it did in the previous clip. However, from this position where he has his weight on his left leg, he's able to push his hips into rotation. His body and his arm follow. Land on Luke Campbell's ribs. And he's, to me, in a better position than he was in the previous clip right here. He's also landing it against an opponent who at the time did not have very many options of things to do in the position he was in. So he had a high guard. There wasn't a whole lot he could do to counter Ryan's hook. We'll take another look at it here. And you'll see, again, the mechanics. Weight comes down on Ryan's lead leg. His arm lags back somewhat. His hips turn, creating stretch, which he's then now able to contract on against a opponent who can't respond to land a very nice hook to the opponent's ribs. Big shot. And Ryan's in a better position here, naturally. He's able to maintain focus against Luke. He's not off balance. He's not going to be tripped by his opponent's leg. He's in a much better position. Here's an excellent example of a hook against Javier Fortuna. It's going to be a 1-2-3. Ryan throws it on balance. It lands. He's in a position to then move. It's beautiful. We'll check it out here. So like I said, it's going to be a 1-2-3. You see Ryan's weight is on his left leg now. Perfect position to push off, to turn his hips, power that hook. It lands. He's in a great position right here, and he's able to just bounce backwards slightly to maintain distance and range against Javier who steps forward. Hips rotate, arm lags slightly, cross body chains are stretched, they contract now into and through. Ryan's in a position here, he can push himself back to maintain distance and range, excellent. Let's take a look at this left hook from Ryan against Francisco Fonseca. It's a very fast left hook, commonly put in a lot of Ryan's highlight videos. We'll watch it in slow-mo, and then we'll watch it frame by frame. So very fast. Let's watch it frame by frame. You're going to see Ryan lag his arm while he turns his hips. He reaches the maximum point of stretch right here, stretching his crossbody chains. So now he's able to elicit the stretch shortening cycle and really contract those chains more violently with more emphasis to really accelerate the punch takes three frames to land big impact and follow through here's another view and you'll see the same pattern ryan lags his arm back rotates his hips reaches maximum stretch right about there everything accelerates until impact and follow through now we'll look at it one more time, frame by frame, and it does appear that he picks his heel up. You'll see his leg lift up. However, he puts it back down through the trajectory of the punch, which is fine, right? I, I like throwing the left hook off of a flat foot. I think when you pick up the heel and you generate hip torque that way, it can often put you off balance as I go over in the Ilya Tapuria video and the Naoya Inoue video. Ryan picks up his heel, but he puts it back down. So effectively, he's throwing from a flat foot. And this keeps him in a much more well-balanced position. I don't know if he used that as some sort of misdirection or if it was just a coincidental thing. So excellent shot, very fast. Follows all the principles I talk about. Load, explode, accelerate, follow through, stretch shortening cycle, kinetic chains. Just a beautiful example of a left hook. Now let's take a look at Ryan's hooks on the bag. Now the first hook that he throws against Tank includes a big step. And in order for Ryan to generate power, he really drops his arm down. And if you try it, you can keep it somewhat tight. However, it's a bit challenging. And that's why he drops his arm. That's why it's easily seen by Tank, who can then adapt and counter. So 
if you want to throw it, I don't really think it's a great punch. It may have a time and a place. Um, the mechanics follow most closely the mechanics of a jab. So there's a little bit of hip rotation in the jab, right? Uh, and it's about the same amount in the stepping hook. And like I mentioned, that's why Ryan has to drop his arm so far to create the stretch to land with a little bit of pop. Now you can keep it a little bit closer, but it's going to feel a little bit more difficult. So you can experiment with that. Once you have the jab mechanics down, it's easy to turn that jab into a hook using the similar mechanics. I think a better option to close a distance is the hook you see against Luke Campbell, where Ryan takes a skip step to close the distance and then is able to power the hook from the front leg rather than from the back leg. And a skip step is a common move in basketball. It's sort of like a gallop, right? You can do it forwards, you can do it backwards, you can combine uh, punches into it, and it's a very valuable tool. You can warm up in the gym just by galloping, right? Forwards, backwards. You can add some head movement to it. So it's a very valuable footwork tool uh, that you can use for different scenarios. And Ryan does a very good job of closing the distance with a skip step, loading his front leg, and then from there, it's just like the mechanics I show in my dedicated hook video, which you should check out if you haven't looked at that yet. So, a little bit of a skip step, and then it closes the distance with the hook. And you can try it from different distances, right? See, uh, how far you can be, how close you can be to throw an effective hook in that manner. So, one thing you'll see guys do when they, after they throw it, is tie their opponent up. And very similarly, you can throw a leaping left hook like Floyd often does. Right? It's very similar mechanics. There's two vectors of movement, back to front and rotation. And you can power that really with both feet as you move forward. Uh, however, in both scenarios, that hook is mostly being powered by pushing off of the front foot. Another hook we saw him throw was after the 1-2. So 1-2, his weight's already going to be somewhat on his lead leg. And uh, just like the mechanics in my hook videos show, once you're on that leg, you have the weight on your left leg, it's loaded, you just explode with your hips, accelerate, and then there's a follow through past the midline, weight transfer past the center line. So one, two, he's already, hips are in a closed position, and it's just the opening of the, of the hips after that. And finally, the last hook against Fonseca, just a really quick lead hook in range. Uh, you see Ryan pick up his foot, which is unnecessary. Um, he's really throwing off of a flat foot, which is the best way to throw a hook in my opinion. You'll see guys like in my Ilya Tapuria video and the Oya Inoue video who really create torque by pivoting on their front foot and throwing off the ball of their front foot sort of like a rear hook mechanics, often puts them off balance. And I think it's a mistake. You can go back and watch those videos, but the way that they throw it, they're often off balance and they have to disengage before they can follow up. They're in a poor position. And I even show you an example of Inoue getting punched by Nonito Donaire after making a mistake like that. He comes back, he's not ready, and gets tagged. So be very careful with that. Uh, but the hook against Fonseca, just very simple, you know, moving around, weights on that front leg, and Ryan, it's already loaded, right? So load, explode, accelerate, follow through. It's loaded, he just pushes off with it, powering the entire hook. So. Very quick, very easy, very standard left, left hook lead. So hopefully that was useful to you. 
Definitely check out my hook videos if you haven't seen them. I think there's some good information in there. Hopefully this was helpful. And if you're looking for an A to Z program that covers everything from stance, all the phases, drills, exercises, all the way through, check out my program called the Power Punching Blueprint, available at howtopunchharder.com. That's it for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.